everybody, I feel a bit exposed um, showing you my face like this but I'm going to do a Halloween tutorial today and I'm going to be a deer. I first saw this uh, look a couple of years ago on Live Journal. Um, I've been on Live Journal for about eight years so hmm. um, I've tweaked it until it really it looks better on me, it suits me, and it suits my personality, so, um, because the original just made me look very, very ganguro girl, and it wasn't hot. My, uh, acne is the gift that keeps on giving today, so I've already got some foundation on the bottom half of my face. Um, first thing I'm going to use is a soft coal white liner, and I'm going to, what you need to do is you need to start sketching out a shape around your eyes. It needs to be mostly circular, um, well maybe elliptical. This is just a rough art outline so if you make mistakes um, you can correct them later. But this is just a guideline so you know where to put colour and where not to put it. Next thing you want to do is bring it down the bridge of the nose and then bring it out into a teardrop tear shape, like so. So it uh, looks pretty weird. So I'm going to go away and do the other eye, make sure they're all matched up. The most important thing you want to make sure is that these two little teardrops are kind of the same level because otherwise it'll look a bit weird. So I'll be right back. So we're relatively even on the scary clown eyes now. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some Paisley paint pot and I'm just going to uh, put that all over the eyelid. I'm going to get a a liner brush and I'm going to use this Crayolan Super Colour. Now this cost me about £3 so it's not particularly expensive and it smells like babies so that's a little plus. <laughs> um, but I am just going to go round and reinforce my line that I just made and then I'm going to start blending that out. I'm just going to go around the other eye do the same thing. I'm going to get a pencil brush, um, just one of these, and start blending that down. Just soften the line. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is get a big fluffy brush and vanilla pigment. I'm going to use vanilla because white on the eyelid I think looks way too stark. So I'm just going to... I should probably use a mirror really. Just blend a little. So we're all whited and blended out and probably will be needing to go over it again at the end. Now the next thing I'm going to do is start with, oh, where is it? A liquid liner if I can find it. I can't so Okay, we've got it, we've got it, we've got it. Calm down, hold the phone. Um, I am going to do a nice big dramatic flick at the, the end and I'm going to join that um, on the underneath. I'm going to take it quite far into the corner and then I'm going to finish off the rest with a black eyeliner, a pencil. So we've got two flicks that follow underneath the eye. Um, predictably, my light is now fading as I get to, you know, the middle midpoint, I am just going to get uh, the number 7 smoky eyeliner and I'm just going to take that underneath the eye and smudge it about a bit. Just there. And there. Then I'm going to use some kind of brush. And I'm next going to get a black eyeliner. I'm going to use this Urban Decay one from the Naked Palette and it should be in zero. Just going to take that underneath the eye. The 
black smudgy look has never been my favourite look. I'm just going to take that onto the rims of the eye as well. Another bus going past the very regular down our road, which didn't uh, really gather. So basically I've got a hell of a lot of black around my eyes now, which I'm probably going to go fix because I don't like it. Um, but in the interest of time, I'm going to get a face paint. This is brown and it's by Fardell and it is um, a bit orangey, actually. But I'm going to start painting this with a kind of small paddle brush uh, down my nose. It looks almost exactly like chocolate pudding, actually. It looks horrible, doesn't it? Okay. So make sure you stick to those guidelines that you set out for yourself, which is why I'm using a brush. The next thing I'm going to do is basically just go in with my fingers as a free for all because I find that if I don't, it will just stream everywhere. So that's what I'm going to do. can't personally say I recommend this face paint at all, to be honest. I find it streaky and hard to work with. And, um, it's easy to get off though. So hopefully you can see that the deer look is starting to take shape, even if it still doesn't look very good at this point. It probably won't look good until it's done. I'm hoping you think it looks good when it's done. Maybe I c if you don't like it, it can be an early April Fool. <laughs> so, there we go. I'm going to clean my hand for a start. <laughs> really easy to get off. And I'm going to get a blending brush. I'm going to get the e.l.f. powder brush. I'm just going to soften the lines upwards and around so it doesn't look quite so sharp okay so we're starting to look like a deer all good deers have noses because noses are pretty useful things but before that because I forgot I am going to set with a powder you will need to set with a powder with this kind of um, product because it's quite emollient and it will transfer and smear and you really don't want to, you know, be dancing cheek to cheek with some hot zombie on Halloween and uh, uh, transfer all of your makeup, you know, leave half of your mystique behind. Okay, so we've powdered and we're going to need to draw on a nose. For this, I am going to use Max Black Track Fluid Line and I'm just going to get an eyeliner brush and basically just draw it on. You don't want to go too far up your nose. As you can see, I'm not a huge fan of this face paint, but it's really streaky. Just going to fill in my nose. Nose is the best part. The nose is what makes it, I think. Don't forget that you've got to go all the way down. So just continue filling that in and I'll be back with a, a nose. So we have a nose. As you can see, I made a massive mistake on mine to have an excellent tan line kind of streak. The next thing you want to do is do a white stripe on your nose. I'm just going to go back with this Krylon Super Colour and a nice thick eyeliner brush. And I'm going to draw that on, pretty simple. And I'm going to basically place it where that strip of mistake was. Um, 
and I'm going to set that with some eyeshadows. I'm going to use um, Urban Decay from the Naked Palette. Um, actually, I'm going to do my white first. I'm just going to use Virgin, anything. And then creep on the black. So, we're nearly there. Um, all we need is a fine line of black over the nose. Sorry if my out the nose. Last things I'm going to do, finishing touches, I'm going to go over the white one more time, which is quite important, and I did tell you, you would have to do it several times. Well, you probably wouldn't if you're better than me. Um, so I'm just going to need to go mark out that kind of teardrop shape again which seems to have disappeared from my overzealous blending. And I actually, furthermore, just want to mark out quite strongly a white outline. Because it, get, it gives it this kind of cartoonish factor, which I like. But I'm just going to blend a little bit of those white lines away, the ones where I made mistakes, um, essentially. And fill in the triangle there, which I forgot about. Costume makeup is stressful, and I just got white face paint all over my boob. So you can go super duper white, or you can have it nice and blended. And the last um, touch for the face. You're going to want to get that eyeliner brush and some white. And paint on a few spots. Or markings. I'm going to go put some fake eyelashes on and then I'm going to be back and show you the finished look. So there we have it, I've got my lashes on and these are MAC number 20s which are the corner lashes. Uh, all we have to do is put some lips on. I'm going to use a little bit of a Revlon Cherries in the Snow which I'm currently loving. Now this is a hugely pigmented lipstick. makes it perfect for a stain. I'm going to put a bit of uh, Revenge's Sweet lip gloss over the top. And uh, there we go. I went with subtle lips, but you could always play it up on the lips, go with a bright red. Um, for me, I think I stand out enough. So there we go, the last thing to do is unclip the fringe, which is going to look a bit strange because it's been hiding for so long, and of course, antlers. And there we go, there we have my dear Halloween look, which I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm not an expert, so I've done my best, and I actually quite enjoy the way it looks. So, um, yeah, the light's gone really bad in here right now, so I'm going to go have a cup of tea, and I'm going to upload this. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed. Have a good day.